Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Jukule. We are back again. Zilo Castillo. Episode 19. Jugo Sheka. Aya Shumeka. Caroline save your drama. I don't need it for it's so popular. Hola, hola. Mr. Lokba. Hey. I'm not here to cause for halal. Me, I'm here to cause for halal. Please, our future sponsor might be out there. I'm here to cause for halal. Give me assurance. <laughs> <laughs> assurance. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh my man. I think from that intro, we thank God for another day. People already know what we're going to talk about today. Ah, yeah, Amy. But before we start, I'd like to give a big shout out to Debra Ohalete for coming through last week. Ohalete, Debra. Ohalete. We appreciate it. Thank you very we much for coming through. appreciate the honesty. It was, it was lovely having you here. Yes, yes. And the new single is actually banging. Yep. Over 2,000 views in a week. Well, less than a week, actually. Mm. So, uh, shout out. Please keep supporting Debra. Keep uh, going to the SoundCloud, YouTube. Uh, I keep listening yeah. to her music and, and hashtag it. GRM Daily on her stuff. Yes, yes, especially on the memories video. Yeah. This week, it's been it's been a very interesting week, man. This week, it's been a very interesting week. Diverting from music and all seriousness, which we will go into later on. This week, uh, something happened in the pop culture world in Nigeria. Oh, what well, happened? I, you know exactly what uh, happened. I don't know what happened. You are singing Give me assurance. Assurance. Yeah. Give my baby assurance. Yeah. 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 Because I like the song. You like the song? I like the song. The song is a very good song. So, someone took us by surprise in the in the Nigerian music world. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know. Let me not even say Nigerian music world. That would be limiting it. Like, he's now like a, a, a world is star. It, yeah, he's a superstar. You know, signed to Sony BMG, I think. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Well, it's just Sony it. Music. Uh, it's actually now a, a world star. It tours everywhere. Yep. And um, last week, Monday, he decided to publicize. Give her some accolades. I deserve some accolades. Not, her, not him, though. Chama, you deserve Chama some deserves accolades. some accolades. Nah, but, you know, I think it kind of took everyone by surprise because, you know, this guy, you know, in terms of flossing and flashing and, and girls. Uh, and concubines. Concubines. And baby mamas. He's up there. He's up there, mm. you know. He's up there. And Yo, bad to, guys. Yeah, funny thing was. He was the chairman of Obi, of your bad demon. <laughs> Obi, of your bad demons. <laughs> <laughs> the general. El Capitan. El Saluta. <laughs> Uh, El Chapo. El Chapo. <laughs> El Jefe. <laughs> Jefe. Of all your Robatimos. <laughs> you know, flossing and shining in that Obio gang. Yeah. 30 billion gang. Uh-huh. You know, the guy gave fire, fire bond. I go pull her for fire. Oh. Hey, after I say, if they say, make, if you say, make I love you. you yeah. Know. If you say, make I love you. <laughs> And then you have uh, what's the other one? If the, if I tell, tell you, say, say I, I love, love you. So the guys been warning us basically. We're, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about David Doe here, mm-hmm. mad. And his confession for his for the love for of this long term woman Chioma that uh, he has been hiding from the whole world. Do you know? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like I understand why he would do such thing. Why? Because Igbo girls make you do stuff, man. I love them. Igbo girls. They, 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 they've always been winning. If there's one culture, if there's one culture of women mm. that wins in Nigeria, yeah. it's Igbo girls. I Ladies and gentlemen, them. you didn't hear it first. I love them. Igbo girls, do, bro, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Really? I'm telling you, that's like, the Porsche is actually, the fact that you bought, bought a Porsche and now every, every one, and let me, every for, the lack, for, for the lack of better words. In KG. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God, <you're> my... <laughs> hey, let me not even say anything. Because every say, wheelbarrow. Because you say I'm coming for you, but I will not say anything. No, see, the expression, <laughs> see, this is big loud mouth, man. <laughs> because any, anyone stupid that you want, <laughs> Wait, if I say go on punish you, but if I say turn on fire, you but eh? what's wrong with my name? Anyone, anyone dead dummy thinks say they do not deserve a poor. <laughs> You know we started this podcast for today. Until you said what you just said just now. <laughs> it's true. It's true, but um, but what's the what's the what's the what's the, what's the better way to confess your love? Like you know. Two different baby mamas. Mm-hmm. One that, that that is known. That that's known. One of them belongs to like a very wealthy family. Mm-hmm. You know, in uh, Sadele Momodi. Yeah. For those people, you know, 
sidetrack, doesn't matter who he is, but quite rich. Yeah. And for, for him to, you know what? This is where they say, love has to be rich. No, it, oh, who, who, who says that? It's, it's, even it's in his line, in assurance line, yeah. he goes, love is sweet. Love is but, sweet. But with money, love is sweeter. It's sweeter. Huh? The only way to confess your love after you have messed up so many times to buy a Porsche. I mean, you, yeah. no. No, do you know what? Yeah, no. you know, if I mean, you are just any Paco or one nonsense guy like that, uh, you cannot be saying I love you after two baby mamas and you don't have a Porsche. Uh, or you are not buying a Porsche. Uh, so that's, that's Jay-Z didn't buy a Porsche. But Jay-Z does not have baby mamas. That we know of. Well, this one is well documented. <laughs> it has baby mamas. But I think, to be honest with you, all jokes aside, yeah. I... I'm not into poking my mouth into someone else's business, another man business. And uh, but, fam, my question to you and Eddie tonight was like, listen, what if Chuma was your sister? Ah, I told you already. Like, I, I don't think I could let my sister. I can't allow it. And then you say, what is there to allow? Then I told you in the yeah, because you don't make that call. In the lands of the Bini, mm. we make those calls. You make those calls. We make those calls. We determine those calls. This is, this is we same, make those calls. This is the same guy that his sister will bring boyfriend home and the guy will be standing straight to greet him. Who oh, am I, G? Yeah, no, it's calm. It's all right. Like we don't, we don't need to do the whole ah uh, no stuff. No, it's, that, that's that's calm. That's calm. I, greetings is greetings, isn't it? It is what it is. Is whatever you understand greetings to be. It's fine. I don't take offense to greetings. But I'm saying, imagine if Choma was your sister. I mean, it, for a second. It, the Dissect two, that for Okay, there's the, the two ways that I'll see it, yeah? Mm. I'll be like, cool, for the longevity that I want, if that was my sister, mm. I'll be like, are you are you going to marry somebody that's got two baby mamas? If he has a Porsche. Don't care. <laughs> it's irrelevant. Range Rover. I, I'll be honest, I was like, no. It's like, what? what Lamborghini. Like, either way, no matter how, how much money you have, yeah. right? You still got two baby mamas. You got two kids that 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 someone else is gonna have to learn how to mm. love, right? Mm. Unconditionally, yeah, 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 just just because they love you, right? So that you can have a healthy relationship. Yeah. Um. So for me, I, that's a big flag. That's a big flag. If it was my sister, I'd be like, that's that's something that phew, I would say like money fades away. Like let's say tomorrow he, he doesn't, you know, he gets robbed by his management team. Yeah. Right, and then he's bankrupt. It has no money, right? But yeah, but we know this person. The person in yes, question, yes. it's not going to happen to him. In, in, in artists lose money. No, no. But we're saying forget the artistry side. The the what, money is, from what, that. He's, he's gonna re- rely on his baby mama's wealth. Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, no. His dad's. Whoa. <sighs> OBO, okay, OBO okay, is okay, not just okay, an. Okay, okay, okay. It's not an abbreviation. Okay, okay, you know? okay, 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 okay. That's okay. what I'm saying. In terms okay, of security. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. The money. The mo- like you know, money helps to cover a lot of you, you know cracks. Uh, cracks. That's the truth. It does help, but mm. in the long term of the long term spectrum, the kind of love that she might need, or the kind of attention she might want, yeah, or just you know being able to say that you know that's my husband and no other. Yeah, but she's been dealing with it for five years apparently. Yeah, so, but that's I mean that's, close to five. First years. of all, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was my sister. I the, the, a year would have been yo, yo, you need to start. Like thinking about what's happening, we need to start yeah. thinking about where 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 this relationship is going. I think for me, it's not even a case of you know what. I'm but, not trying to say she's a role model or she should be a role model for every girl out there, but I don't think it sets a very good. What's the word? Is it president no, or? No, yeah, it's, that's the word. But I, I think it would be wrong for us to say that. I think it'd be wrong because she us. made her own choice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's her that's, own choice. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's why I feel like it would be wrong for her to say it sets the wrong tone on the wrong president. No, it doesn't. That's her relationship. Yeah. Right. As, she decided to make that call. Exactly. It's her relationship. It's what she can bear. It's what she can carry. Right. Does that mean that if anything, you can then say to Davido, yeah, bro, like you you messed up the game for the rest of for the rest of them. Yeah. I, mean, I don't say us because because right now, friend is high on love. Oh. He's high. Davido is high on yeah. love. That's what I'm saying. And we're happy for you that you're high you, on man. love. Like after you know, just keep the... releasing some music, man. Ah. No, the song I sure is actually a banger. It's a banger. It's a That's banger. what I'm saying. It's a banger. You know what? He. I don't care what anybody says. He did it the right way. What do you mean? No, in, I mean like in terms of coming out and saying, okay, this is how I feel. Not everyone's gonna come out publicly, and you know, I mean for for his level of artist, like being an artist. To be fair, I don't even think he even came out the right way. I think if you're gonna come out like. Posh. 
No, no, I'm saying as an artist out there, forget the Porsche. It's like you, you know, you do it at the right time. I think it was a birthday, announcing a love and then drop, dropping a banger. Forget the Porsche. He dropped a banger okay, that, okay. you know, yeah. even if she signed some sort of, you know, whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. that she can still make royalties of that song. Mm. I think he did it the right way, you know. He's yeah. he's kind of materially Have you met your Chioma? No, I haven't. And apparently, for you to even, she doesn't even talk. According to um, this guy on Instagram, what's his name? Oyemai, because I think he was, he had a first-hand view of, uh, mm-hmm. of the whole night. And he says she's a very reserved person. And to be I honest mean, with you, it, I think that's true because nobody even heard of her yeah, till... She, she would need to be, though. Yeah. Do you know why she would need to be? Because at the same time, she also has to think about, okay, like, I've been with this guy for five years. God knows what he's done outside of our relationship. Obviously, they're baby mamas, but yeah. his touring habits, she ain't always there. And if she is, I don't, I can only speculate. So I don't, I don't really know. But at the same time, I feel like that's just probably her nature anyway. Yeah. Is to be somebody that's extremely re- reserved, you know, have a high tolerance level, yeah. understand the situa- yeah. this situation. You have to, it has to be built in you. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The it has situ- to be inbuilt. To an extent. The, the situation that she's in, like she, all of those, she has, she, I think she, she sounds like somebody that comes to terms with understand. Okay, this is the card that I've chose to play. Yeah. Right. Let me try and see it through, and and you know, and then you know, along the line, maybe mm. Davido's mm. starting to realize that that's yo. This like, is this is the song that's you know? that's stuck around mm. despite my infidelity, despite my what my rise to fame or what, whatever. Mm. Right. So yeah, it's, it's a good shot, man. I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, he told Caroline to save the drama, so... I don't need it for your soap opera. That's it. The guy's been warning, he's been warning these girls. He's been warning them. Them. That's it. I mean, for a while. I but you know what? Congratulations to him, you know. It's not every... You know, you have some artists who just hide how they feel emotionally about someone. Yeah, you know, maybe... Like is, you, right? I don't hide how I feel. I'm so not how come you haven't released a song? Yes, you are an artist. Don't I'm not an artist. Don't I'm even. not an artist. Guy. I sell demos. Well, I'm trying to sell demos. Uh-huh. With the help of Ade, we're uh, trying to sell demos. No, I am not an artist. an artist. I am not an artist. Why? A songwriter. This guy is backing down now. Huh? Okay, Ade. What, okay, what's your stage name? I don't have a stage oh, name. Oh, yeah, hello. I have the name. Hey, me? I have the name some white people call me because yeah, they couldn't right. pronounce my name. That's your stage name. What is my stage name? Tyler. Oh, that one. Yeah, all right. Yes. All right, that one. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying to be a demo so seller. So how come you haven't declared your love for the demo that you want to sell? Because... Nobody what, what people, buys love what, what songs. Guys, guys, well, guys don't wanna they want to buy love songs. Nobody well. buys love songs. Right now, they will be because they No, we're not in that era. We're in the drug era. It's no, not we're, R&B we're era. We're in the love stage and people wouldn't express their love. So maybe... Every love song has either Porsche or money inside. And I don't... I can't write songs for I that know, But you get, you, get, you get leg now. Which leg? Uh, we both... You know get leg. I, but I'm not an artist. I am... Okay. Anyway... Moving on to our next topic for today. I, you, I've learned how to master you. I'm not going to get master dragged into your conversation. <laughs> the other part of the, today's conversation, uh-huh. which would, I, which will, I think will lead to what we're going to talk about next week as well, uh-huh. is my I'm favorite not. artist of all time. Is he you your know, favorite artist of all yes, time? Yes, yes. Really? I mean, first comes 50 Cent. No, no, actually, he, he comes before 50 Cent in terms of hip-hop. Yeah, okay. He is my favorite artist of all time. Okay. And I've had two people question me like, yo... Come get your boy. The way Snoop Dogg told 50 Cent, like, yo, <laughs> come get your boy. <laughs> 50 Cent was like, yo, yo, yo like, don't try to bring me don't, in. Don't bring me, don't roll me into that. That's my boy. <laughs> That's exactly. But the thing is, it's, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Kanye West here, yeah. which I know is not new to anyone. Kanye Kardashian West as uh, Charlamagne the guy. Like Do you know what? I, 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 was, I was thinking about this, yeah? And I know exactly where Oz is going to come from that angle you're going to come from and I might actually just agree with you for a second but I don't know because I I, I purposely not I didn't speak to you about it I know on purpose but go Kanye's my dude really did you okay did you watch the interview with Charlamagne I'm I'm, I'm 45 minutes into it 45 minutes into it okay cool over 45 minutes into it alright alright so I, I watched that interview and I was like damn this guy is just broken. This guy is broken. He's destroyed. You think so? He's hurting. You can tell. You know, he's hurting with frustration as well. That's kind of worst kind of hurt when you know that you have the that you have the mindset mm. to try and create a change, but there's there's so much pain within you and Stum- stumbling blocks. Yeah, and so it's there. And and I guess Kanye's always been that ca- character that 
will always challenge the status quo no matter what. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. No matter what. Even means if even even means like just saying something that's completely nonsense. Yeah. So what he said was Oh, God, was absolutely. I I got what he meant. Yeah, but he has I got, a ba- the, the, I got what he meant and what he went to say. But I was disappointed that someone with great artistry of words couldn't articulate what he meant. Oh no 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 no! But you know that's always the downfall of people who think very far ahead yeah. and too deep. They don't know how to. I'm not saying and then, and then yes you, you and have. A, I'm, I'm sure you have friends. Like there's sometimes like, we're talking. No no no. <laughs> there's sometimes we're talking and you're like. What do you mean? I'm saying, yeah. okay, it makes sense in my head, but what's coming out my no, mouth? No, that's, that's you know? me. I, I got it, but it was, it was, it was, it was the, it was the build up of what's been. It was the situ- he, he didn't really assess his situation. And I felt like that guy from TMZ said it perfectly. Yeah, it was like what he was doing was was the absence of thoughts. Yeah, right. He was saying something, but he wasn't thinking. But he thought he was thinking. Yeah, but it was it was spot on. It was the absence of thoughts. It was just like whoo, yeah, straight. So because he didn't assess his situation, mm. he didn't assess what had what led prior to you know the whole you know Trump thing yeah. and Trump yeah. being my boy and whatnot. Mm. Um, so it was just like I was just like oh damn. Yeah, how you gonna say that? I man? think I think this one. But you. I got what he meant. I got what he was trying I, I, to exactly, say. Exactly, I got what I, he I meant. Got, I got exactly what he's trying to say. From the moment he opened his mouth, yeah. from the moment he started going off on Twitter, I understood where what this guy was saying. coming from. Yeah, but it was just like, oh, it's like, oh, we saw. He's like, it's like we wish so, you could just say in a, you know, not in, not, 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 not even a better way. Not, not even a, a better in, in the delivery yeah, was the, a lot more constructive. Not, I don't know. It was. Even it's not was even word. delivery. It was. It was his wording. It was the honesty of his wording. Was yeah. someone that was so, that's so clever with, with his words, well, right? That's why in his music, his messages are clearer than yeah. when he speaks. But at the same time, like with his interview with Charlemagne, mm-hmm. I guess obviously that interview was done a lot away, way before he tweeted what he tweeted about slavery. Yeah. Right. Um. But I, you know, I felt like oh, we'll go into that in terms of slavery. That also, yeah. that also kind of like. That also kind of gave us more of a clearer. That gave me anyway more of, more of an insight to, you know, his thought patterns and then why he would say that. And then when I then read those tweets back again, I was like, yeah. it makes sense after the interview why he would say yeah, that. Yeah. Um. But it was just that it was just it was just the wording was poor, man. The wording was was key it was, stage it was, one. It was really it bad. Was, it was key stage one. I, can't I think lie. I think I think one thing, fans. Especially, okay, like someone like me, I'm not even trying to cover up for him or anything, but I think people need to understand where Kanye is actually coming from. Because if you listen to a particular particular track, it's called Family Business. Mm, uh, yeah. You know, that track will tell you a lot about his personality of who he is. Mm-hmm. Now, before Kanye West was Kanye West. He's always been Kanye um, West. He's always been Kanye West. I mean, but you know what I mean? Like no, I the whole fame, before that, the whole that's, thing. That's where Kanye flopped because he, well, he before, assumed people already so, knew what he meant. Before the whole like, thing. what you're doing right okay, now. Okay, before the whole fame, right? Uh, no ID uh, yeah. was his mentor. Mm-hmm. You know, Kanye West nearly got signed, mm-hmm. but he blew it. And I think he was 17 years old, it, yeah. right? All because he just wasn't feeling... Mm-hmm. That the deal, whole yeah. spectre of whatever, whatever was going on. He blew his first deal at 17. Because they didn't align it with his dream or what he wanted, mm. right? To the extent, apparently, to him, he said, no, I didn't even want anything to do with him. Until he had to bug him down and say, yo, listen, this is what I want. Going through all that stages, you know, you producing for people, people knowing who you, what your beats are. But deep down, you know, I'm more than a producer. I'm a rapper to getting signed by a whole Rockefeller to be a producer and then... You keep telling people and they keep telling you, no, okay, you just make the beat, pull one line and we'll put Cameron on it or Jay-Z will come on your album so you'll be like a DJ Khaled. But he never wanted to be a DJ Khaled. Kanye always thought he was Kanye. To the extent that he stood on a table to interrupt. Yeah, but... yeah, I'm going somewhere. He stood on a table to interrupt a whole Jay-Z session Mm -hmm. in his... Still in his prime. In his his audition. Do you know what I mean? Like, and he's saying, I'm the savior of Chicago. So you have someone who, before Trump, before all this... You know, emotional. Already narcissistic. He was it, no, well. You could say narcissistic, or someone who, against all odds, believed in himself, believed yeah. in his own thought, and his mm-hmm. thought. Let's not lie. This guy's thought, as when he said, like, look, like you know, on that song, uh, look at the blacks, look at the charts, man. Like, was I on that? Like, he's, he's thought and his will against going against all odds as 
brought him to this point where we're talking about him right now. Yes, everything you're, you're, you're saying is, is, is cool, it's fine. But at the same time, when somebody put themselves on, this, on a pedestal to a step where yeah. he, he's, he, not just, I wouldn't say he's wrongly self-proclaimed to be a genius. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say that. I think in, he believes everybody should believe they're a genius. I think he is. A, I think he is a genius too. Maybe not to the standard that we, which we uphold what geniuses are. But I think he's well, like a, Einstein. He, but that's a different class. I, I, I in music, I, I don't think he, that's this. I think. Well, in music, I think he's the a same genius. Class. I think he's a genius regardless of the genre that we put him in. Yeah. Right. But then again, it's just like I said, depends on. You know, that, but you spoke about frustration, and I think that's his frustration. Yes, like people but only same, see him as a musical genius. I, I know that, but when you are, like I said, self-proclaim, mm. when you say certain things, you automatically put a level of expectation and a label on yourself. On yourself. So when he said what he said, mm. the reason I had a problem, I didn't have a problem with what he said because I got what he said. I knew what he was, what yeah. he was trying to say. Yeah. But I was I was disappointed because of he didn't allow or he didn't put his I guess his genierism if that's even a word right to play to go okay let me frame it to where people can understand it clear clearly without I, 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 without the bloodlines that's what I'm disappointed on because obviously he has the ability to do yeah. that so why would you not do that no and I think this is this is he said something in in that interview like when they write about him mm -hmm. they say rapper Kanye West they put him in a box already mm -hmm. and I think his frustration is being put in a box he doesn't see himself saying. as someone in a box yeah that's what I'm saying he's, he's the type of person that will always challenge the status quo that's, 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 well, that's his code aren't you not contradicting it when you say like he should have done yes, this he do should have yes, he should have passed you know, the message it's not, on it's, it's in a better way it's not a contradiction because those are the stuff I'm basing of what he self proclaimed he is that's not Putting him in in a no, box. No, but people call him a genius anyway, regardless. Yeah, no, but people, fans call him a genius. Yeah, right? who else will? The media don't call him a genius. Yeah, because they put him the, in a box. Yes, but if you are claiming, if I say that this is the type, if I say I am a king, I'm a ruler, and this yeah. that, right? So my dominion or my kingdom, I have say over that. Mm. So there's already an expectation of what my domain or what my dominion should expect from me. Because of that's what I've put. That's the that's the that's the aura I want to carry, mm. right? He believes himself to be if the greatest icon to ever walk planet Earth, right? And that's his claim. I am not going to dispute. But does he not, not have? I'm does he not, not have accolades? I'm not. But, no, but I'm, I'm not disputing. I'm not talking about saying. plaques on the wall. I'm talking I'm not about disputing. bringing out shoes, going into fashion, I'm not bringing disputing, out shoes, and I'm not, selling out. I'm not disputing his claim. I out. don't dispute his claim. Yeah. I do not. Dispute, I'm not. I'm not even going to go and dispute his yeah. claim. But what I'm saying, once you put that on yourself, it's not something that we've come out because we live in a civilization that mm. we're only allowed to smell the roses when you're dead. Yeah. Right. So. And that's what's probably going to happen to him. Exactly. So, but because we're not, because we haven't moved forward from that. Yeah. Right? So there's still a level of expectation for him to then go, for, he, for him to, for, for, for the way we see him. Mm. Right? So that ha he has to somehow, if you are self-proclaiming, so that means we're going to judge you according to your words, according yeah. to, your, to your accolades. Yeah. Right? So therefore, he should have. So the whole stance of him saying, I love Trump. I want to make America great again. Now, this is one thing. You know what? The media are so good. Oh, they've been so good in the past few years of clickbaiting black people. Now, he said... It's not just the media. No, I'm just in general. Mm -hmm. People know if you want to rile a bunch of people up, they have to be black. Mm -hmm. Just say something that has to do with race or racism. Yes, it's a touching subject. We understand that. And you can't just sweep it under the, under, under the carpet or the rug or whatever. But him saying, I don't know why people decide to be blindsided because I, I understand what he's associating himself with or who he's associating himself with makes it a problem for people to say, okay, we can align your thought with what we... A lot of people know exactly what Kanye is saying. Mm -hmm. They just don't like who he's standing, ne standing next to. A lot of people... Us, I, I believe a lot of people know where Kanye is coming from. You know when he said something about like, I wanted to take that hat and flip the meaning of what it was. Mm. I, I don't think it could be even clearer to say, when I say I love Trump, mm -hmm. doesn't mean I agree with everything he does. Us, 
who's the most like and that's way back look to look at you look at you for example democracy for example there's a way you feel about democracy right when we're talking about the whole British government and you know the inhumane and uh, mm-hmm. sentimental mm-hmm. stuff, you were like, "I get what you mean, but no." And this is what this is exactly what so you know. So you're aligning me with Trump? No, I'm aligning you with Kanye West. That's what you're about to say. When he says, "When he says, I'm trying to make America great again," don't he's not trying to send Mexi- Mexicans out. He knows he's not. We know he's not trying to send Mexicans out. We know he's not trying to say. You know, are we talking about what, Kanye or Kanye? Or, 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 no, okay. I'm talking about Kanye okay. now. Yeah. He. We know he's not trying to say. Oh, oh, you Polish people. You know, free workers. No, that's not what he's saying. Mm-hmm. He's trying to say. You know what? We need because he said something in Charlemagne's interview. He said. When you get on a stage on VMAs or MTV Awards or whatever, they're fine with you saying, can we all, all get along? Or even if you're not going to say that, you can say, black people are under oppression. But when you start to talk about economical Nicole power, yeah. they have a problem with it. Yeah. And that's where he's coming from. Like, listen, when I'm trying to stand next to people like I Trump, okay. when I'm trying to stand next to people like Steve Jobs, these, these you know white guys who are not just... Jay-Z is doing it, but he's doing it quietly. Mm. And that's, where, that's what I don't appreciate. Jay-Z does it, but he does it quietly. Okay, cool. And 50 Cent accused Jay-Z of that thing a long time ago, yep. but people thought he was crazy. All right, there's, there's also a part of me that also says, in, 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 in life, mm. right, in, in the life that we do, right, just because you do the right things, yeah, right, but if you do it the wrong way, it's still wrong. It doesn't matter if, if it's the right, vice versa. Yeah. Right, so, so my, but that, that's always been my issue with life is that, you know, yes, he is his motive is what you're saying. Yeah, his motive is spot on, his motive is correct, his motive is absolutely wonderful, right? But it's not the right approach. It's not the right approach. No, okay, of course, okay. I I think to some extent uh, I can it's, agree it's, with it's you. It's not it's not the right approach. So therefore, it then <clears throat> it then then works against the message and he works to get his motive. Yeah. That's what then creates that inbuilt of frustration within him because he knows he's doing he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Right? He's doing he knows his motives is clear. He's not judged by his conscience. He's, and he's not just clear. doing it for himself. Right. Exactly. And he's not just doing it for himself. However, he's just frustrated that we're limiting ourselves to doing things the right way, which I feel like you know you should do mm. things the right way. Yes. It's gonna be difficult. Yes, it sucks to do things the right way, especially when you know when you, especially when your conscience is so clear, yeah. right? And you just and you know that you just need to do it. Yeah, you just need to do it. Mm-hmm. But the only way that you know how is may not necessarily be the right way. Yeah, especially if you get to a level that Kanye is when he talks about you know being being more being more famous than a president, but he doesn't have the security of a president. Do you get? Yeah, but he know he didn't literally mean like security. He meant for his wife, you know, in terms of. But it doesn't have. But he doesn't have the, the he same. Doesn't. He no, doesn't, doesn't have the same security level. No, as, of as course not. So, you can't. You yeah. can you afford so, but it. that's some, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's, it's so it's like he's saying all mm. those things in the sense of that his motive. Yes, that's it. I feel like, and we're such a we're we're in a day and age where we no longer like appreciate people's motive. Yeah. We all, we just appreciate how they do the outcome. Things. Yeah. So I feel like yes, he in a way. If this was Kanye five years ago, I would have said we should give him a benefit of the doubt. I mean, this is the same guy that said George Bush don't like black people. And everybody exactly. was like, whoa. Yeah. And he was like, when, when he said it as well. It was like, huh? the, like the, I feel like uh, that was I feel like that was the Kanye with with thoughts. Yeah. Right? And the Kanye He didn't think about that. I think he definitely think no, about it. Because he was he was on national he was, he was he was on the television news when he Basically, said that. Basically, th- when that happened, this was like everybody like George Bush don't like black people. Yeah. Oh, but, oh, that, but that's oh, everybody. Oh, oh yes. Oh. But that was everybody around him. That's not yeah. him. What he said, right? What he tw- where he said. I'm talking t- about the fans now. I'm talking. Yeah, and I'm saying, I'm saying, the same Kanye that yeah. said George Bush yeah. doesn't like black people was a Kanye that had a thought process to what he what, what he was gonna say during that time. I feel like the Kanye that was on TMZ that mm. said what he said about slavery being a choice. I feel like that was a Kanye that. Was with that. Oh, he's one thousand percent wrong. With that, with, on, on it, that slavery. Yeah, you know I'm saying it wasn't. It wasn't. I didn't even think it was a situation of right or wrong, but he was saying it without Thinking a thought process yeah. because of where 
it's like it's like it's like one of the the way TMZ. If you're gonna say something in with a ide- ideology based, TMZ is not the place to say exactly. It, it really isn't. Do you, do you know what I mean? It, it's, Where it's somebody can challenge it's, your um I- ideological sense or theological um meaning yeah. of what he wanted to say. I feel like okay, yeah, it's like that was definitely a Kanye that was absent without thoughts. Yeah, and that was a Kanye that it was said, having too much fun. That do, do you know what I mean? It so, was having too much. He yeah, got so, too comfortable. Yeah, so I felt like that the guy in terms of addressed it, everything he said was, was just was spot on, and Kanye was left speechless, right, in that moment. And that doesn't happen too often. Exactly. Um, so going back to what you're saying, mm. I feel like if this was Kanye five years ago, yes, I think it would have been easier to give him a pass because you just felt like he is. The, there was this, he hadn't come necessarily to his Jesus, f- full face. God face. Yeah. But now that he's this I Jesus, God. full God face, I am a God. right? Everybody will look for, for a chink in your armor. And flaws. Yeah, everyone will look for that. And the fact that he delivered that in key stage one. Yeah. I think, <sighs> I think one thing that hurt him the most, I think someone who hurt, his credibility the most was J. Cole after that false prophet track. Yeah, but no. Can but I say something? Not J. Really, Cole no, should really. never have done that track. No, it, I don't think J. Cole ended his credibility. I don't think so. No, it, it okay, damaged. I don't think like so. Like you say, it put a chink in his armor. I don't think so. No, because because listen. Kanye will tell you, Kanye will tell you that J. Cole's in a way subliminally has always been after him. J. Cole's always been after K. Uh, it is just, it, it's the truth. But I think I think that track, False Prophet. Even when I listened to it again, I was like, I don't think false damaging. I don't think false prophets as damages as as role role models. I don't think role models, no role models is freaking destroying. Right? I don't want no love with realities, hoes. Out of touch with realities. Come on, that what to me is like Kanye was marrying a reality star. Yeah. What well, like And I think I think that's one thing that actually hurt. His status as well. Getting married to Kim Kardashian. I don't, to, it did. In, in a black community. For, yes. But not in a global community. In a, in a black communi- community, yes. That, that, and this is what I'm saying. Like, You might look at that and say, okay, he's tried to align himself with a position of power. He, he is in a position of you power. Know, but I just, to be honest with you, forget being a fan. I just wish we stopped getting too sensitive about this whole... Don't don't let things get to you when it comes to like okay we understand yeah, make well, America great again we understand it, it's insulting it's I never think that was as bad as the, the, the no um, slavery was a choice no I don't even want to talk about that because that yeah. was it's not I I don't I think have a word I think to make America that. great again was was just a narcissistic point of view that was it yeah. that was the yeah, at, at, at worst. I wanted to flip it. Now that is a narcissistic. It yeah, it doesn't narcissistic work. View. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. There, there are a lot of processes. It's like saying you know, you, it's, it's, it's like the whole N word. Yeah. No, but he. That's the thing. That's, that's what I'm saying. When you ask another rapper why did you use the N word so much, yeah, yeah, because it was used by the slave master. So we're taking the word back, and he's saying, "I'm trying to do the same." Yeah, but, but people are now like, "Whoa, yeah, just, what are you trying to do, Kanye?" Listen, timing is everything in this in this world that we live in. Timing, I just think timing, sometimes black people have their priorities wrong. No, timing is. It, Timing is literally everything because I, we're yeah, living. We're, right, living we're living. I believe black people do sometimes. We do have our priorities wrong. <sighs> uh, that, when someone's that's trying down, to, that's when you to have someone like Jay Z, who's accumulating wealth for from all these years, mm-hmm. get, has a chance to sit down with people like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and he don't say nothing until he's forty-five, and you try to drop a. Uh, OJ OJ Simpson story, house nigga, real nigga, mm-hmm. buy some artwork, man. Dude, you're 45. You could have told us that 10 years ago when you were doing it. I mean, yes, but that, but that, the thing, obviously, we'll come to JT enough. I know, I'm, ju- I'm just with, saying. With the whole but you have Kanye who's taking you through the process. It might not be the smartest way. He was like kindergarten way of doing things. Yeah. But, you know, he's taking I, us through the whole process. I think it would have been better received. I think, I think from a... I just think it would have been a lot better received if the imagery... Of Kanye was this humble person. He is humble though. Like I said, the imagery. You, you. I don't know you. You know him. You know him personally. So you no, can... no. I don't know him personally. But I think you can tell a lot by someone by the music. Yes. Okay. He will work with anyone. You I, know that. Yes, right? yes. I'm. I'm not saying that. But at the same time, his persona isn't that. In 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 global understanding of Kanye, yeah. everybody sees Kanye as a narcissistic human being. That's that's his rep, and that's fine. Listen, you don't go far if you don't if you're not different. That's how that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, but at the same time, what was what, what's different? 
Different is believing in your own ideologies. Wait, believing in your ideologies like, is subjective. It is subjective. There, there we go. So it, it is subjective. What, but what you're going to say, even if we do say what I know you're going to say, I'm going to say no, it's not because it's subjective. Fair right? enough. All right. So with, with with that, so it's just like because if he had if he had that great persona of that, like I said, it probably would have been well received five years ago. Maybe just after the, watch the phone come out and he said yeah. that people will still be in Paris still singing niggas in Paris. See, you know what? I, I'm, I'm tired of and you, know, you know the worst part, yeah? I'm tired of we human beings in general. <laughs> the worst part is that he's dropping an album soon. Exactly. And and people going to buy it. You black community love. I'm going to we buy it. We love this, he's, this guy's album. The track Year Versus The People that came out, everyone's yeah. like, uh, 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 yeah, oh my T. God, I. Year Versus The People. Uh, yeah, but the people talking about it. I know. You know what I'm saying? Kanye stay winning, bro. <laughs> Dude, th- listen, I think, Yes, Kanye is stay winning. His credibility has been hurt by the media. But you know, I, said, I don't think I don't think it's I think his reputation has. I don't think his okay, credibility yeah, his, has. His reputation has been hurt by the media because they they see the thing is yeah. All I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, the media, the the wealthy percentage mm-hmm. of this world, mm-hmm. and the white people of this world, they recognize when something great is about to happen. Okay, how about this? Check this. Let me. Let, someone said no because that point would look very racist. And I let me finish okay. before it sounds racist. They they understand when greatness is about to happen, mm-hmm. so they do what they can to box it. Okay. Using the media. Okay. Are you saying that from it's a... It's not racist. Are, are you saying that from... It sounds complete. You're, you're saying that from a free mind, right? Yes, free thinking. Okay. Mind. Pip this. So what if that was Kanye's ritual? What do you mean ritual? To say what he needed to say to be part of that society. And that was his initiation. Initiation of... Make America great again. Of oh, are you same. talking about this whole controversial? I was just saying. Uh, let's I'm, not go there. Ladies and gentlemen. Saying, I was just saying, what if this was Kanye's Ladies and gentlemen, initiation we are not going to talk to about the club Illuminati. Of, of, ladies of, and gentlemen. Of the, enli- of the so-called enlightenment group. As we got to go. I'm just saying, what if? That's, what if, that's another, what if, that's, a, that's for another day. What if? That's what if another, this was his, oh his initiation for I'm the occultism? I'm trying to wrap this up, by the way. What you if, know that, Because this is going to. What if this was his initiation? You know we said we're good. We're not going to go this long. What if this was his initiation? I did. Producer, you see, this is not my fault today yeah? what if this was Kanye's initiation I know that's your dude listen I know that's your dude listen and gonna stroke one out can I say something his yeah. initiation could have come when his mum died on that surgery table could have could have come could have that was but maybe that was what entry sacrifice level? is better than okay. human life okay maybe that was entry level hey, oh really entry level one uh-huh Kill your mother. <laughs> my guy behave. Bro, bro, on, bro, bro, bro. My guy behave. Bro, hey, they do that in Nigeria. So what, what, what you think they don't do that in the third world? Well, in the all I'm free saying world? is, thank you guys uh, for always listening to Yo. us. This is episode 19. You gonna call me off let like us, that? Let us know what you think about, you know, David O's <laughs> love quest. Uh, you know, what would you do if, that was your, if Choma was your sister? Chioma. Hey. If, you know, Davido was your brother, what do you think? After two baby mamas as a woman, can it, you take it? Ooh, I'm glad you just said that. If Davido was your brother, you you rock with him. like, that's my dude. My guy. You'd be like, that's my dude. Show him how cooked he should die. Ah, that's my dude. <laughs> but funny how we have, like, so, we're, yeah, so, um, we're so sexual. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Let us know what you think about Kanye West as well. Um, thank you guys for always listening to us. Like we said, uh, please keep listening to Deborah or her Let His Music. Uh, go on to SoundCloud. The link's still there on our previous uh, post. Uh, keep supporting us. Please subscribe. Subscribe, boo. Yeah, get one, please. Yeah, get that notification subscribe. on your phone. We're begging you, please subscribe. It just yeah. takes, just click one button. Uh, it's just at a click of a button. It just says subscribe. And guys, and you, guys you guys are not illiterate. We don't need to show you where the subscribe button Why is. Why did you spoil the appeal now? No, I'm just saying, you know, some people, they, they do like the, the um, subscribing video at the end. So I'm just saying, the reason we haven't done it because we know we have smart audience. I think we have to start doing it. Because no. you know what? Picture plays a lot of role. Don't worry. You're just worried about it, editing. It is, it is. You're worried about yeah. editing. Huh? But you know what? No, we're not saying. We're saying we have smart listeners, smart audiences. You guys know literate. So just... Uh, subscribe know, and just please subscribe. share. If you enjoy it, share with your friends, yeah. share with your family. Uh, we're not vulgar. And if you don't anything. enjoy it, please just comment. Just, just comment. comment. Just say, yo... That guy to lie, he needs more likes. I mean, like the last the last comment we saw, uh, the first comment was uh, you booty scratchers think, you know, uh, using gay people as a as a bait. I was like, you clearly didn't listen to the podcast. So, you know what? Someone replied to him I even prayed to the guy. I told him, God, we love you. God, no, we still bless someone you. Someone said, oh, booty scratcher, huh? But, you know, you're race mass murderer. But uh, please, we don't encourage stuff no, like that. Man. Let people no, just let them talk. Let them talk. You know? But all of you that comment, I still pray for you. But please, we don't encourage stuff like that. Just, uh, you know, come in. Uh, thank you very much for your time. 
This is Big Loud Mouth. My name is Tala. And I'm Oz. And we out. Love you. Peace. I sure. Yeah.